Spanish language characteristics. Question and exclamation marks. In Spanish, there are opening questions and exclamation marks, which can appear right at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence. Gender. Spanish has masculine and feminine genders. The gender affects nouns, demonstratives, possessives, and articles, but not verbs. Está cansada? Está cansado? Plurals. Generally speaking, the plural is formed by adding s, two words ending in a vowel, and by adding os or s, two words ending in a consonant. Tú and usted. The informal form of you is tú, and verbs used with tú are conjugated in the second person. The formal form of you is usted, and verbs used with usted are conjugated in the third person. The familiar form is used with friends or with people who are younger than you. The formal form is used when you speak Spanish with elders or people you don't know. Cero estar. Two verbs in Spanish to express to be. Ser and estar. In general, ser expresses permanent states such as soy alto, I am tall, or somos de Argentina, we are from Argentina. Estar expresses temporary conditions such as estoy cansado, I am tired, or la calle está mojada, the street is wet. Listen to the intonation line. ¿Es usted un estudiante? ¿Qué calor hace? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Gender. Ella está interesada. Él está aburrido. Ellos están ocupados. Plurals add S, OS, or S to form the plural in the following words. Mantequillas, estudiantes, profesores, osos, lunas, aulas. Tú and usted. Usted es mi profesora. Tú eres mi compañero. Ser versus estar. Tú eres rubia. Tú eres un estudiante. Tú estás mojado.